Well, what's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Woke up this morning in Harrisburg, PA, back here at my house for basically a pit stop. I feel like Papa was a rolling stone, yeah. Wherever he laid his hat was his home, and when he died... All he left us was alone. Yeah, I can't sing. I, I know that. But it's all good because I'm here for a few minutes and I wanted to touch on this because here's the thing that's out there is speculation. While I was coming down the road, I was listening to Skip Bayless, Baseless, going off on Dak Prescott. And Keyshawn Johnson actually um, kind of. Put them back in place because, you know, the the only problem the Dallas Cowboys have, according to Skip Bayless, is Dak Prescott. That's it. Nothing else. Nothing else. And be that as it may, a lot of people have that same mentality. And, of course, they say, don't sign him. Don't don't sign him. Don't do not sign him. But the Cowboys, if they're going to get any cap relief, um, will need to do that or. They can go through. Here, here's here's the other scenario. If they don't sign up to a contract, they can get cap space and put off the contract by basically restructuring and using the voidable years. But they've already done that where there's $36 million sitting there. See, here's what you have to understand is $17 million was the first year of the contract, the cap hit. Um, $19 million was the second year. And then it was $26 million. Then the third year, the way you do that is by moving money further down the line, and which is why it's at fifty nine million now. So here's the thing: what you can do is you can get a contract, preferably longer. The longer you have it, the better it is. Tyron Smith, when he signed his contract that was ninety two million dollars and it was like ten years, people were like, "How are you gonna sign a guy to that much money?" But it was great down the road. So. Sports Track has come out with a three-year extension thing. And here's part of the problem with the Cowboys is they keep waiting to the last minute to do these things, which makes it harder to move the money around, okay? So Sports Track projects a three-year, $180 million extension for Dak Prescott. So they're basically going by the rumors of, you know, Dak Prescott could be the first $60 million man. Da, 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 da. Okay. Not $6 million, but $60 million. So they're saying $160 million practically guaranteed and $76 million uh, cap hit in, oh, wait a minute, and 20, $76 million in 2024 guaranteed. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me say it again. Three-year extension for Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott, including $169 million practically guaranteed and $76 million in 2024. Now, that's the check he takes home now, but that's not the cap hit. The cap hit would actually be, and here's their numbers, and this is where I say this is a no-go. This is, this is a no-go. Cap hit of $41 million the first year now understand we still are dealing with this year's contract and the prorated 36 million that's out there cap hit of 41665 okay that's much better than the 59 it gives you 18 million but then the cap hit in 25 would be 83 and then 71 65 and then avoidable year at 15 in 2028 um that's going to be a no-go i can tell you right now in those cap hit numbers and the thing that they'll actually need to do is, and this is where Dak Prescott can work with him, is actually make a longer contract with more avoidable years to make that contract more palatable. Um, let me do the same thing. Let's see. Because. Let's look at Jalen Hurts. Because, see, this is what kind of. Um, doesn't make sense to me because we signed they we they signed Jalen Hurts to a two hundred and fifty five million dollars. See, this is what don't make sense to me. I'm, I'm trying to understand this. We're talking about one hundred eighty for three years, and we're talking about two hundred fifty five for five years. 
So fully guaranteed money is 110. Okay. I, you're right, right. 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 Now I get it. So, I mean, that comes out to 51 million a year. Okay. We, we, we all agreed on that, but somehow they seem to figure out the first year's cap number was only 6 million, which is good. And then the second year, the cap number for this year is only 13. Then the third year is 21. And then 31, they don't get to, until they get the voidable year, the 97, and 2029 is the voidable year. They don't get anywhere close to the 50 until 2028. How is it when we look at Dak Prescott, look at this, hold it, how, how is it, we talk about 60 million, we take in 41 the first year, and 83 higher than the 60, 83 and 71. Am I just crazy or just plain stupid? Now, the difference, though, I will say is this, is what they've done is they've taken all the cap hits early as opposed to the Eagles basically saying, if you look at the Eagles, what they've done, all these damn ads, is they basically have thrown all the money to the voidable year already. $97 million they put towards the voidable year that they are looking at and saying, we're hopefully going to get an extension be able to get rid of that. That's how this one works for them. And you see how they have the low cap numbers early and figure he's going to be our starter for the next five, six years. As opposed to Dak Prescott, they do the reverse on this and they say, let's take the big cap hits right now. No. You want to take those bigger cap hits down the road because the salary cap went up like $31 million this year and probably will go up like that and more next year so you know this is going to be interesting how it works out and again that's not from the joneses that's not from the cowboys situation that is sports track and in some regards i will say the way that they've done this the way that they've done this is the wow factor because now everybody's going to talk about 180 million. Dak Prescott going to be 180 million. He's going to be a $83 million cap hit. Man, let that guy go. They purposely have done this uh, projection so it will get the biggest play. You know what I'm saying? They want to make it look like the worst case scenario to get you to watch. So don't get fooled on it. There's no way I would. You know what? Before I would do that one. I would go ahead and just say, you know what, Dak, we're just going to restructure your contract, and you know, you can just go ahead and leave after that. You know, what, there's no way, there's no way, no how in the world if this is the demands from Todd France that that's going to happen. It's just not, just not going to happen. All right, good people, I have to uh, get back on the road because Papa was a Rolling Stone, yeah. Yeah, wherever he laid his hat was his home. And when he died, all he left us was alone. Yeah. All right, Papa's going to get rolling. Peace out, good people.